online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads from over 200 countries and your number one source in after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! And let the legend begin as we are here for the Legends After Show playing another classic song from a Sean Bean movie. But we're not going to say what it is. You got to guess. That's our trivia for today. What what song, what movie is this from that Sean Bean's in? That's all we're giving you. It's creepy. Sean Bean's in it. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, you are. I'm, I'm pretty freaked out right now for a good reason. Hey, but it's because I happen to be sitting next to Carrie. And <laughs> that's why. Goosebumps in a good way. And JB. Hello. How hey, are you guys? I'm You're so good. live. I'm so happy about We were that. worried about yeah. it. Yeah. We, were Dave, like, we missed you. We were taking bets. I was, thank God. Yeah. Uh, I, know, I got a whiff of VX gas. <laughs> it was the VX, yeah. dude. It yeah. was the VX. Way to commit. Way to commit to the show. So, well, last week when I didn't commit to it because of the VX gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were a decoy, so we, right. we yeah. had to find that last cancer. Uh, well, You're yeah. welcome. Sorry, Sean Bean had to find it. Right. Thank you, Sean Bean. Oh, we told Sean Bean. Sean Bean, I, I, I think he'd t give his life for me. I think he'd give his life for all of us because that's what he does. <laughs> Obviously. But, uh, guys, I'm Dave Klein. So <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into the Perfect show. Segment. Yeah, so speaking of VX gas, we come right after uh, Dante, a.k.a. Martin, a.k.a. Sean Bean, has killed a man right into it. And he needs some info so he can transfer money so he can get VX gas. So that is where we start off right away, right back into the action. And immediately after that, we get uh, Nelson's side where we find out that, uh, I believe the scientist's name was Russell, that he made five liters of VX gas. So It's a lot of, of VX. One teaspoon of VX gas can level an entire town. Exactly. What was the statistic on that? There was a specific statistic of how lethal it was. It was like one liter, I think, could like destroy LA, right? Um, well, I can talk about it in terms of The Rock, if, if we're... Yeah, we're talking about the movie The Rock. Speaking <laughs> that VX gas, I think uh, like a, a teaspoon in detonated in the atmosphere like can take out uh, a city block or something? Yeah. Was that, is that exactly hit, from the maybe, movie? Maybe it hits the ground, it's a city block, and then it's like in the atmosphere, it's like a whole city. I'm sorry. It's bad. It's I'm lethal. sorry, but that was Nicolas Cage, not Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> True, but they're both. It was also Sean Connery, not Sean Bean. Sean you got the first letter right. There's Sean's. There's yeah, Sean's, Sean's in there. Oh, that was a good movie. <laughs> That's a great movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, it's extremely, extremely dangerous. So five liters is apparently a lot of it. So uh, we get that, and then we get that uh, Anna now is talking with Yuri, and um, she admits that she slept with Dante. Or we know that she slept with Dante. Again. 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 She loves it. Yeah, she actually, she... <laughs> she loves the yeah, Sean Speaking Bean. of which, she goes back to show up Dante's place. She's keeping an eye on him. She's doing her job. Yes, and yeah. she Very is committed thoroughly. to her job the and, same way. And, and, She's extremely yes, committed. Uh, Very committed. Very committed, and, uh, for some reason. Yeah, and also <laughs> she's just a diligent worker. She's just right. a really hard she's worker. Just, yeah. Probably get a raise. Uh, exactly. She wants the raise. That's that's all it's really about. <laughs> she wants a huge raise. <laughs> oh. Yes. Think she's gonna How big of a raise too. is that gonna get? <laughs> Good six um, figures. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's about like the normal range that you get in that line of work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's about average for that line of work. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> she so basically though we find out in her conversation with Yuri that Yuri now completely trusts Dante after last right. week's actions and what he well, did. Well, yeah, I mean he killed a guy. Yeah. So I mean, in cold blood, which he, is strange because normally they they have warm like, blood. With an eye blank, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tortured you... someone to death and saw them foam at the That's mouth. pretty yeah. brutal. Yeah. And like, who hasn't done that? Martin can really just go into it and just right. stay. It doesn't matter that's, what he's got to do. That's what's crazy. Like that is such an intense thing to do. He just sort of buries it under the rug. Like he, they had that meeting, basically like a debrief in the office, and he just had to kind of like brush over it. Like it was, eh, I just I saw the music. It works. <laughs> yeah. Just right. trust. Don't yeah. worry about just it. Just trust, guys. Yeah. Trust, guys. Just, yeah. it, work. it works. It works. He did, it he did hesitate, though. He did hesitate. Yeah. He was like, 
Uh, yeah, well, I saw, and then they all had love that Mr. Bowtie guy. Uh, he has a name. I don't remember right. his name. Spiller. That's his name. <laughs> the head, the head cheese old guy who had a bow tie last week. Um, he had a tie this week. That's important information. Anyway, but yeah, he gave him the look like a lot of eyebrow action. So clearly yeah. they like, were all on the same page. Mm, all guys and eyebrows. Yeah, it seemed like they were kind of skeptical, but. Yeah, I wish he had said, trust, guys, trust. Yeah. It works. <laughs> trust. Trust. Don't worry about it. Just trust. had an eyebrow. Uh, Secret agent stuff. Here. But speaking of <laughs> that end, Crystal, uh, apparently he has made finally made contact with Crystal um, around this time. And Crystal, um, yeah, so so he actually comes and as Crystal's telling this to Nelson, Mr. Gates. Mr. Gates. Mr. Gates. I love his character. Every week, just get a little more about, about him. I yeah, dig it. no, Nelson's like awesome. Him. And yeah, she actually admits to Nelson as well that like, you know, maybe, maybe he's not that bad. Yeah. He's actually he's not that screwed up from all the, you know. Gates not, was right. Not at this point in the episode work. yet. But we'll get totally. on that later. Uh, so Anna, yeah, ends up at Martin's place to sleep with him. And um, basically just Dante playing the Dante version of, uh, but she has this one line, too bad we don't have more than one life. It, it was something around there. Something similar to that. And I just thought, like, how ironic. Right. Because, you know. <laughs> Martin slash Dante slash uh, Lincoln. Lincoln slash et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, has so many lives. Exactly. No, I, I think that actually did mean that legitimately. Oh, because, I'm, I'm sure that yeah. did on purpose. Well, no, like, I mean, how he purpose. reacted in the end, I'm just kind of jumping ahead here, but, yeah. you know, it did seem like he had legitimate feelings for her, too. So, like, yeah. I think they both felt, you know, in, like, they did have some real connection. It wasn't just the fact that, like, he, you know, had to do it for America. It's because it was... a good lie is close to the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did have to do it for me. Yeah, so I'm glad that he, he you know, took one for the team. But at the same time, like that's absolutely the only she reason wasn't I would unattractive. I mean, I like you know they could definitely have you know chemistry. Other, have gone on a third date at yeah. least. Yeah. No, she uh, said it wasn't possible. Did you listen? <laughs> did you even listen to the episode? She's yeah. like, hey, we can't do it again. But well, yeah, Dante I mean, she's met got her us, dad, yeah. so it's, it was at a level. I mean, she introduced him to her dad, so. Yeah, that's true. Technically she, speaking, they were did. past that level. Ooh, yes. But he didn't yeah. introduce her yeah. to his wife. And kid. And, or and kid. kid. Yeah. That, was, that was rude. The kid would be the big one. Yeah. Probably that was odd. Like, you know, how about, uh, oh, this is the big day you're going to meet my wife? <laughs> yeah. <I see. laughs> I'm still married to? Yeah, that I'm still married mm-hmm. to. This is a paperwork And thing. I hope if you guys don't get Details. along, I don't know if this will work for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a swinger. It's kind of part of my life. So. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. But after this uh, moment, Dante uh, slash Martin has a meeting, and this is, um, and the the meeting is essentially where he's talking about what we talked about before, where, yes, he knows the gas is real, and that they're going to set up a smoke and mirrors fake money transfer. Or no, sorry, darn, sorry, this, I'm ahead of myself. Dante's at the meeting at 8 a.m. the next day. Yeah, where Earliest he's going to be meeting, meeting with Yuri. Ever for yeah, bomb transfer. He's going to be meeting Yuri. Yeah, it's good for me to do the bomb. And I love how they're all sitting in a public park, all in like black, half half of their attire is leather, with a huge silver brief. Right. Not not looking conspicuous at all. Is this what happens when my note is just Dante slash Martin meeting, and there were so many <laughs> meetings. It's like uh, Martin was in a bunch of meetings this episode, but he's very busy. Uh, basically, we get through the pipelines like, oh, they're going to do smoke and mirrors money transfer, where they're going to make a fake account, fake money, and transfer that over fakely. Right. Classic FBI move. Right. Classic FBI. That is like something where I'm like, I don't, I don't think you can really do that. Well, no, actually, I mean that's one of the things that I do believe that they should I guess be able. You to do should is, be able well, to. Whether but, they can do that or not, I feel like that's something that but, the like hacker geniuses at, at FBI should be able to do. If it's going to a private like, why would bank you, account, like, uh, yeah, yeah, just well, thirty-two million like, psh, pocket change. Well, no, I mean, I feel like mm, it, the FBI have, like, pretty intense control yeah. over a lot yeah. of stuff. So if they can't, like, manipulate money well, for, like, yeah. saving well, society. Good. That is like, a good point. No like, use for so, them. like, come on, guys. You should probably figure that one out. Like, when, every movie has done that. Yeah. Like, there's there's, that's why there's always prepared. a wire transfer, people. <laughs> I guess when money is um, now just a number. Like, right. it's literally just a computer number. Like, a card is, like, uh, who knows how much. It's exactly. just a number. Which is why I kind of like that they d- did throw that little joke in there, and they're like, yeah, like, I remember when it was, like, flashing a briefcase of cash. Like, yeah. you know, they could have just had, like, the top bills be legit and then, like, paper in the middle. Like, now it's like a, it is just a number thing. You check on your phone, like, yep, it's there. The number's bigger. Yeah. So, yeah. But the FBI end up showing up, 
And in this moment that they show up, uh, there's a shootout as they miss that there's a sniper on the roof. Yeah, so, should have done a little recon. Oh, whoops. whoops. Caught up the satellites. Oopsies. But. So there was a sniper on the roof, roof watching the whole time. So sniper shoots the FBI. FBI have a, a mini shootout where they end up finding it. There was just one sniper, I believe. So they find the sniper, take care of it. But in that moment, uh, well, there's also Crystal ends up shooting down uh, basically Yuri's guard mm -hmm. and capturing Yuri. And then John Dante Martin starts running away with Anna. And as they're in the car, he's like, busted. Bitch. Yeah, just. I was surprised he blew his cover. New, yeah. yeah, I was surprised he blew his cover too. I, I, I was kind of. Yeah, I was like, because like, especially because at that point he wasn't sure, because like clearly there wasn't supposed to be a shootout. Yeah, right. And for him to trust, like everything went fine. It's a good time to blow just my cover. Just we got him and we got the gas, so everything's good. Yeah, we got the hot chick. No, yeah, so. I actually thought that it may like I thought about ways that it could have worked if they if he didn't do that. Yeah. Um, you know, so I, I'm curious to see like why they they did go with that decision i mean maybe it's a, kind of a small you know plot point anyway but but it sticks so they out can, though you know what right. i mean like it sticks yeah. out i think the whole purpose i mean i i agree with you like i think the only reason they do it the writers are like oh crap how we oh well we better have him blow his cover so that then they can turn her and yeah. then you have that leverage against yuri and the which way will she go right. no i agree i think that's the only reason was a writer's reason as opposed to like a legitimate character reason to do it right yeah. and that's why it stands out so much so in my opinion, that that turn right there is would then be poor writing, even if it's for a writing sake of like doing this other purpose. Right. When you make a decision like that, that breaks a character. Yeah. It really stands out. It sticks True. out. So. True. And yeah, I think there's other ways that they could have convinced her mm -hmm. to do that. You know, like he could have been in in the back, like basically having that same conversation with the higher ups, and just had someone else, like Crystal, even show that video. I think like that. Yeah basically did it like her yeah. seeing yeah, everything you, I don't think you she totally needed. could have cut all of that then yeah right. dante didn't actually need to or martin at that point didn't actually need to say any of that stuff it was just like so here's the truth right i mean they definitely had a moment and they, it again that like, kind of fuels that storyline of them actually having like a real connection yeah. a little bit well, but it does you feel know like... it wasn't wasn't as necessary mm -hmm. i think i mean it feels like given the end of the episode's events it'll play out in the beginning of next week or like at some point next right. week the actions of this episode but yeah I, I don't know it just seemed like something where i, I don't feel like his character would have been that careless to just be like to blow his cover like right that. yeah i don't think you would ever ad uh, like even ever to a mark or, or not like ever yeah. admit like you know what yeah it's over you know i think yeah. Yeah, especially because like if someone's going to prison, you still want that person right. to believe that. Period. If they're locked away, because hey, you never know. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, they trusted her, but at the same time, they didn't need to. I mean, I, maybe that was a choice to make us sort of like uneasy in that scene where mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're both in the prisoners' fatigue, sort yeah. of talking about like what actually happened with her parents. Well, yeah, because then it's like, well, yeah. I mean, I think that was the device because then you're like, is she gonna break it or right. not? Is she gonna right. like? Is she, she gonna? She feels betrayed. She slept with him right. and betrayed. <sighs> yeah. So I mean, I guess that is the the biggest payoff Men. is is like I Men. was like, oh god, like you know, she could very easily screw everything up. Yeah. Um, Women. It's a woman again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I tell you, if I had a nickel. Oh, those wily women. Yeah, like, like a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I decided I might have. Like, how many, how many women have you been with? <laughs> I, like, I, I, I have, have that eight nickel, spot. actually. Got a lot of change oh, okay. in your pocket. That, it just happened. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you after the show. <laughs> a nickel. It was. <laughs> yeah, so, so, what about the next part? Martin. <laughs> Aha, Martin. <laughs> Everything you saw how the chemical works, and this is the scene where he was in uh, with everyone. And um, while he was dark, that's when it happened, as we, we, we kind of talked about. And Yuri still thinks that Dante is legit, even in prison, it would seem like. Because so, like, he doesn't know. He has no idea. It just seems like Martin ran away and uh, possibly got away with, uh, with Anna. So, he's in that position as. Now is that scene that we were talking about where Crystal Collins confronts him and says straight to him, straight to his face, like, hey, we know that you raped Anna's mother, and that's why you did it. Yeah, and Instead killed her. Yeah. killed her, yeah. Raped and killed her. And, yeah, so he basically just says, like, yeah, and, and then threatens VX attacks. So he's not, he doesn't want to negotiate. They don't want to negotiate. So they're stuck at a point where he's like, let's just have some VX attacks until you guys... Yeah. Uh, transfer me. Right, yeah. Which it's always just like, seems to work for the bad happen, guys, yeah. always. like. But, yeah, the same, that was 
one thing that didn't work as much for me just because they only have five liters of it. Yeah. Like he, and he yeah. said, like you know, it's gonna keep happening and happening, and it's like, dude, like you can do it five times. Yeah, it will, but you know, after four, that's it. Like, yeah. You know, it's it's not good because it could kill a bunch of people. But well, here's one of my question was, right. was then the f- about the the VX gas. So, uh, if a, like how much is a liter really, and how much can that destroy? Because then they have it on the bus, where it ends up killing everyone on the bus in the next scene as the man leaves the bag. Lady being a nice lady, trying to pick it up for him, and it's just like was that an entire liter for a bus? Because that didn't seem too bad. If they have five right. liters of that, and that was one liter for a bus, it's like well. I yeah, just way five worse. buses. Totally. No, I, I, to me, it was a mistake that she dropped it, and it. So I think what would have happened, or what was meant to happen, was it would ride the bus, and the driver would see it, and then put it in the train station, uh, and then it would sort of uh, leak out there and, and take out a lot more people. Okay. I kind of wish they just done that then. Yeah, or just like drop the bag off in the train station. Yeah, like I know. It's, I mean, you never want to see, but it's TV, so it's fake, obviously. Sorry, guys, it's fake. Uh, but I, w- I know what? I would have loved to have seen, like, just give it more gravity. Be like, oh, my God, all these people died. I mean, 16 people, still a lot of, you know, casualties. Right. But like you said, give it some... some- True. The o- I mean, the only thing is if it was that huge, I think it would be yeah. more of, like, a state of emergency thing. And just t- to continue what they're doing on, like, the secret agent level, it's more about, like, making sure that people don't know what's going on. Like, yeah. Yeah. the bus thing is sort Keep of it little cover hush-hush. up a, a, yeah. a, a, a bit more like I mean if a whole train station gets like VX gas like That's CNN's good. gonna find yeah, it yeah I guess I just be like it's gonna make it I, I, I just took it like this chemical would be something that would like literally like level a city basically right. like this is the most dangerous thing that they're doing holy crap I can't believe they're making this thing that's why they had to steal this guy to get this ultimate chemical weapon and it's not like yeah 16 people that's, that's terrible that's a right. tragedy but it's like well, you have the city of like a, a six, what? How many people are in LA? Like yeah, six, sixteen. Yeah. Like not like not six, really. Million. There's like uh, what, close to ten million? I think that Something. sounds good. I feel like all ten million. That was probably six million. Wait, I'm shot in the, the dark, valley. but I think yeah. it's. I'm gonna go with it. So I mean, it's just like, so sixteen people is like oh this right. this doesn't this yeah no it's definitely is, not not yeah. that many people but but I. I'm only basing that on on. I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry. That she I know it was a lovely lady who was on the bus, and I feel yeah. horrible that she died. <laughs> it's just deep. It's just 16 people. Weren't that many. Four million. Four million. Four million. Four million. Oh, okay. four million. Thank four you. Million four million million people are so But now right. we're 16 down to yeah, four million. So over what's double? that True. math? Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if there were double the amount of people in LA? <laughs> Dude, rent is oh, already God, bad enough. We need flying cars before that. Yes, we do. Or we, we just need a or subway. Or like teleportation and, you know, or something. I don't know. Public transportation of any kind. Yeah. Be good no, yeah. I think they're the, on like um, Wilshire. They're they're building the subway right there. Oh, to, yeah. To, to extend it like two or like a few blocks. You know what? I'm all for it. Yeah, you know, like from literally from La Brea to La Cienega, which is not that far. It's like a mile, I think. But, it seems like 20 years. But during rush hour, like, that is pretty far. Big true, true. Nice. No, that is true. That's very. I mean, far. I, I welcome it. I, mean, want, I want that. Yeah, they're also working saying, on the light rail. I don't care be, how long it takes. I'm just like 15. Just start it now, and maybe in like 30 years, well, people will be better off. So yeah. regardless, <laughs> like, yeah, this is as very far off. As soon as we have engine. flying cars, the subways are gonna be awesome. As soon as we have flying cars, maybe <laughs> VX gas won't be an issue anymore. <laughs> but it still is. So Martin is uh, watching Yuri on the screen, and he wants to get Anna to turn. He thinks that's the way to do it. So they can work together to catch Yuri. And he's talking to this like higher up on the monitor and the guy's like, Well, this is this is unorthodox. We can't we can't do this. And he's like, My life's the one that's on the line. Yeah. And I say we can. He's so that's much testosterone, that Dante. <laughs> and that Martin, he's so manly, I tell you why. He's like, I don't care, President. He's a boss. I he's mean... a boss. I love it. I do. Carrie's actually from New York. I uh, yeah, I'm um, hello. She's a Jewish mother from New York. Hello. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. Hello. <laughs> that's a good that's a great accent. I'm just saying. He's a baller. He is straight up boss. He is. So Anna when he actually goes to talk to Anna in that this moment that it seems like they built up and constructed the have, Anna first seems to be trying to play Martin. Like mm-hmm. first she's like, Oh, you double crossed me, there's no way I can do it and then he drops the Oh, by the way, your dad raped your mom. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. Boom. Can't what, really top what that. What do you think about that? And it's literally what he is. He's just like, by the way, and then just walks, yeah, leaves he, the room, yeah. drop the mic, <laughs> leave the room. Whoa, dude. Because he, he just leaves the bricks. 
I gotta say though, the actress, I think I'm gonna butcher her name, it's like Nakar Zadigan. I don't know, she's brilliant. The one who played Anna, she did such a great job because throughout the entire episode, like, so many, you could have played it big and you could have blown up and blah, you know, uh, but she stayed so calm in that scene and like they even had a great shot of her hands and the cuffs like shaking. Yeah. And then the cup was still yeah, slightly no, that's in shock. A, that's a really good point. I think she never like Wait, overplayed no. it or overacted. Just like there's a like lot right of, like a tea of intense scenes and yeah, stuff. Just, like, yeah. you know, even boil. when she was in um, the cell sort of with uh, mm. Yuri, yeah. you know, th- she could have yeah. been like all crazy about it. But like the fact that she didn't was like really like dealing with it internally, I felt. Yeah. Like, I was just, like, Excellent so much more acting. believable. Really liked it. It's definitely a good actor choice. Right. For sure. Yeah, like, the sort well of done. underplaying it. Well done. Almost. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good acting on this show. Definitely. So that's one of the strong points. Um, so, Crystal shows, speaking of Anna, Crystal shows Anna the tape now. So, it's like, oh, you don't believe Dante because he double-crossed you and right. all that. Well, here's photographic video proof. <laughs> on my Bam. iPad. Yeah, on the iPad. placement. Was it an iPad? Well, I, don't I, know. I just look like a tablet of some head, sort. Could have been a shield. Could have been. New. Well, <laughs> some type of smart device. It was a it, tablet. It was a tablet. It was something that had a screen and it was <laughs> yes. small. Oh, that FBI! It was they've a got so many with the, gadgets. The video magic. Uh, yeah, look here. Oh, he confesses. That's it what it was. It was the uh, iPhone Big. That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an iPad. It was a fab. It was the tablet. Exactly. Not yet. So that is all of a sudden the truth comes out but then she promises to limit the prison time to five years right that doesn't sound like the greatest deal still no it's still like uh, true but i mean she was selling she bx gas yeah. which well, i think you could probably like, kill there's, someone yeah her. there's there's life or yeah. five years yeah, of prison five years probably not yeah not too bad it's a little bit better, yeah. It's, it's like cooperate with us help us get the guy who raped and murdered your mom for a day and for, for not day, get right. killed yourself. Yes. So we'll also raise you for your entire yeah. life. But that's cool. <laughs> because now now we got you. Right. But I mean, it was a great uh, prisoner's dilemma thing. They were kind of playing both of them, like, say, like telling each other that they were both in there. And they're like, yeah, like, you know, we're going to cut one deal with you guys. Like, yeah. you're, mm-hmm. you know, you either take it or leave it. Like, you're not going to have another chance. Like, you take the five years or, or... you die. So not a lot of options on the you. table. Yeah. Or you think take about forever it. years. Just think about it. Yeah. <laughs> forever years or five years? Which you go with? Mm-hmm. I go forever it's years. Tough one. I'm gonna, tough I'm gonna one. think. It's about hard to readjust to life outside of prison. It's a hard knock life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like personal experience there, Dave. Yeah, please tell us more. Well, I want to show off the tattoo. That <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, just this is a family Dave's show. Dave's not going back to prison ever again. Actually, He'll die before he goes actually back. Actually, that's what makeup on the tear tattoos yeah. there on I my face. Those. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, what's that? Is that a bruise? I was like, no, no, it's like, hold it's... on, let me go to the bathroom and put more makeup on. Yeah. I mean, I don't wear makeup. What? It's a good It's a good shade. You do a, a good job blending. <laughs> just, <laughs> that's why all your pen caps are sharpened into shivs. That's why we're sitting over <laughs> here. I thought it was just a nervous I'm, I'm surprised thing, that you. But... I'm actually kind of surprised you noticed that because you're not supposed to. Oh, God. Apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my edge. He's yeah, angry. not as, as discreet as you once were. You're terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yuri, though, is also in prison. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to Yuri. Yuri yeah. is transferred to the FBI car, and um, Crystal's driving in front, and then Yuri, who's in the car, is the same corp that Anna's in. And then all of a sudden, there is an attack on them. And I gotta be honest, I read right away, I was like, oh, it's a fake attack. But did really? you know that it was the well, FBI behind her? Did you yeah. think it was the Russians behind it or the Chechens? Well, I mean, given the whole thing that we knew they had a plot going on, I was like, what? this what? is that. I honestly, I honestly week, did right? not see this coming. Well, I mean, like. We thought Crystal was a goner. We, yeah, we did. I, like, I, didn't, I didn't think that she was gonna be dead, but I didn't think that. Um, Sean Bean was going to be was piloting great. the helicopter. I was like, what? That was fabulous. It, I mean, it wasn't like a huge, like, <laughs> moment. We've got but I was like, whoa. Business. I was definitely surprised that that happened. I was yeah. like, sort of caught up with the action. I mean, I and... guess like they, they built up that he was going to be doing something and part of this plan. Right. So I just figured like, okay, he's going to show up at some point because yeah. he's got to pick them up somehow. But exactly. in the helicopter? I mean, I knew. I well, like, I didn't know I was it was like, going to be a helicopter. I mean, True. Sean Bean I thought maybe he'd be big. driving the car. And he could pilot a helicopter? Damn. What? He just keeps like, going up and yeah. up and up. 
Uh, Sean Bean. No, that's Dante, Kim. It's actually exactly. not Sean Bean. It's Dante here. Can do it. It's Dante. He was very Dante. tan. I mean, if, if Martin, he was very tan. Yeah, he was very Dante, tan. Dante, most actually, yeah. eligible yeah. bachelor. Yeah, my, my parents, <laughs> my parents <laughs> watched the show, and my mother sent me an email, and she was like, did you notice that Sean Bean's really bronze He's this whole so episode? He's so orange. He's got I, anyway, I didn't notice it. I, I thought about it afterwards. I was like, was he? I don't, I don't know. Well, yeah, that I stuff. mean, Dante goes the Dante's salon. It's the Dante thing. You got to play Dante the right way. Spray tanned. You're gonna be the Lord of War. Well, you gotta. You know, well, yeah. also as he said, he's like get that bronze. About he joked about being in L. A. He's like enjoy the sun because I'm in L. A. Uh, I wonder right, if they're yeah, like see, uh, we oversprayed him. Throw a line in there so we can justify his yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just get him moist. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Somebody yeah. exfoliate, Mr. Bean, please exfoliate. I, I guess the one thing that made me question this whole scene because I mean, right when all the cars started coming, I did think like, okay, this is gonna be Sean Bean. Right was when everyone started like looking like they were dying and i was like and then there's blood everywhere i'm like what type of they're all good actors right who can act really well and know when they get hit with a squib like take a drop and make it look real yeah and then on top of that like yeah. do they all have like blood packets in their like in their outfits so like they get hit and like the blood packet explodes like how do they hey, the fbi can FBI. splurge on those kind of things they do a lot of training and a lot of <laughs> acting scenes as well. Apparently, it was also part of their training. Right. They study Shakespeare. Especially when you're in the secret agent business. Secret agent. Man. Yeah, yeah I was kind of caught up just in the dynamic of of what they were doing with the mind games and the mm -hmm. prisoner's yeah. dilemma thing, and like see, thinking about like, you know, why he would tell her so much and like let her know and and even take that chance. Yeah. That it was sort of a surprise. Not that it was a setup. But that they brought back the storyline of of Sean Bean's character um, being a Dante war. being like pissed about the yeah. the deal, which I thought was great. I mean, no, they I really that tie, awesome. tied that back in really well. Like I was expecting, I guess maybe I was expecting a setup, but like not. I wasn't thinking like, oh yeah, like that makes total sense. No, I thought that like, was great her, with his character. I was like, this is awesome with his character. Right. What they were doing with it. But seriously though, was it like ketchup bullets? Like what? I'm still on that. Yeah, just like the, how do they? The like I, I know it's TV, but I'm just like, how would if that was a real situation, would you justify like how would you make that work? True. How yeah. even? I don't know. How even? They might have FBI issue like blood vests. <laughs> Maybe. That. Maybe. I have to say this though, I love that scene. I absolutely loved it. I was squealing and I was so excited, but I'm I'm not squealing. Digging. Wow. Squealing. I was like. <laughs> I do this when I get excited. I clap. I saw it. I like was, a small child, like, I clap. And then she did I do, something really weird. I'm up, weird. I'm down, I'm screaming. <laughs> I do a lot of weird things. But I'm not digging this radio voiceover thing. They did it last week as well when they were like doing that. And we talked about this when they were like, what? man down. Like the, the the whole thing that for the audience to hear what's going on on the radio. So this whole scene's going on with, you know, the. What were they? Escalades were like, you know, getting blown up or right. whatever. And I'm not digging in the it. Yeah. Make it a little right. dirtier sounding. I don't know. It just it sticks out to me. Yeah. So it takes me out of the moment. And I want to be in the moment with Sean Bean. Who would not Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? I know I'm being picky. I love that scene, but like that's just stuck out. And I think if you're going to perfectly hit all the senses for an audience, you've got to make sure that every single um, element you're putting into a scene is flawless and it doesn't go noticed. Nothing should stick out. But let's be serious. But let's be serious. Let's be serious. You picked the wrong person to rip off. True. I did. For but I guess I should have dude. You picked the wrong he person to rip off. He beat the crap out of him. That it was, was so satisfying. Like, no, it was awesome. Uh, I thought, like, right when he walks in, just the punch in the yeah. face. Like, oh, like, oh yeah. again. More Boom. squealing. And then when he put the knife in his hand. Oh, that was great. Because yeah. you kind of weren't really, expecting that. That scene was probably my favorite. And, and definitely the most believable. I mean, I think the makeup See effects how juicy team he was? did awesomely. Was I was like. Uh, that like <laughs> looks like he he like cracked his skull like a little bit. Like, it was yeah. great, it was, like, and then later on, blood. when it was dried and it was like across his nose, right? Brilliant. Yeah, Loved and then it. he was like well kind of done. like checking yeah. like if he had like all of his teeth. Like that was kind of a great moment. Like they were. Like, no, that was great too. He really like, sold yes. it. And also, and Dante's like, you still got your teeth. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> was I was like, expecting yeah, him to punch I me. I pulled back. I pulled back. I'll let you keep your chopper. That was that was forty percent. That was no, that was pretty hilarious. I, I, that thing was awesome. But I mean, my favorite part was really just when uh, Yuri like sticks out his hand, like shake on it, and Tasha's like, "Okay, stab!" Yeah. Yeah, I just love that. that really was fantastic. Yeah, it was a nice and then he arc. twisted it. He was just yeah. like, mm, you. and then he wipes it and tosses but, like, it. Yeah. <laughs> which which was so perfect. I mean, I, I think they really bought a lot of legitimacy with that. Like, oh yeah. Because sort of, I mean, 
we do joke about how it kind of goes astray sometimes with the, the FBI mm-hmm. lines and stuff. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like, okay, guys, yeah. you're the FBI. But, you know, this, I think, really tied it back, and it's like something that if he did do that and did try to pull fast one on, on a guy like Dante, like, that would totally happen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like, Sean, I mean, well, Martin's character, Martin's legend. Right. Or... Sean V's character, Martin, is just a really, really good at it. Like, he legitimately is the best. Right. And that, the yeah, that's the craziest part. Because he does it. He actually is... full out goes for it. Mm-hmm. Right. And and what he ha- is driven to do, I mean, the only way to sell that is to basically do what he did. Like, beat the crap out of him, stab him in the hand, and, like, torture him. Yeah. Like, that would totally mess with you. Like, he has to be in that place where you're cool with doing that to yeah. people. Like, yeah. You have to be a little messed up yourself to be able to, like, just pull that out and be like, well, you know, today I'm going to stab him. Yeah, might as well. And just you know what's nice, too? It. Saying all of that, like, all that, you know, pushing his character to the edge, they didn't uh, talk at all about, you know, him being possibly who is Martin Odom. So they're yeah. building up, like, this legend and, like, this legend's capable of this and this legend's capable of this. So it's just a nice, like, building this suspense, this arc towards the ultimate storyline of right. who is Martin Odom. Right. So exactly. We great. expect Dante to do that, but, I'd say, like, Martin right. could be something Right, but maybe it's Martin different. who's yeah. really, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's just, it's nice how each week they're building towards that. And I, you know. God, there's so many well, layers. Well, that's so good. Onion. Well, then the other thing, too, is, I mean, I, it's, I think Martin Odom is everyone, every legend. That's what it is, because, like, we see immediately afterwards he's talking to Crystal, and Crystal's being nice to him. You're like, you did a great job. That was amazing. And he's still, to me, it felt like he was still Dante. He right. was it. He, couldn't, he didn't pull out of it. Like, especially the drinking vodka thing. As she points out, like, mm-hmm. you don't like vodka. And he's like... You don't know that. And because he's still being Dante. Dante likes vodka. Right. Martin doesn't like vodka. Yeah. So he's like, it seems like he's starting to have trouble pulling it out. And he really, all these personas are affecting who he is. He's Blurring. a piece of each persona. And yeah, he's like going full into Dante right. mode like that. I think every time he does something like that, that's super Dante. I think it's just harder to take that piece out. Exactly. It very much seemed like he became Dante fully. And it was just like a Dante working with the FBI who's like. Yeah taking a, a moment from his normal Lord of War day job to, like, help out the FBI like, as an informant, so and needs, that's it. He needs to burn all of his... Uh, he needs to burn his car again. He yes. needs to burn all of yeah. the men who burn worked for the him. Burn yeah. Burn all the men who worked for him, <laughs> his hired guns. They must all go. Did you they, see how they had a nice... Uh, was it Hyundai Genesis they drove off in from the park? Buy a Hyundai Product Genesis. Product placement. Yeah. I was like, Jeez. wait, Dante went... Oh, it's probably a rental. It's just like uh, Walking Dead as the Hyundai... Actually, Walking Dead as Hyundai as well. There you go. Well, this one is going to have to get burned. It's always funny in Walking Dead because every car is dirty except for the Hyundais. And yeah, then also like, they're really clean. It's in their contract. We gotta keep them pristine. Yeah, every car. And also you see a clean Hyundai. car, you're like, oh, it's a Hyundai. That's Ooh, why that's somehow survives the Zompocalypse. Yeah. yeah, it's like all, all the other cars are going the uh, opposite direction and yeah. are just trashed. And you got the one uh, brand new, 2014, but fully that, loaded. Hyundai Santa Fe. That's what I have. That's why I drive Hyundai. So after this moment, Yuri and Anna talking to each other, and this is where you're questioning, like, okay, is Anna going to snap or not? What's she going to think? Um, is, is she going to – which side is she going to take? And she just sticks to her guns about her mother, about that, and f- gets Yuri to admit it and say what he did. And then after she hears that admittance – Mm-hmm. Despite the fact that he probably, you'd imagine, has changed for her, I, you would imagine, she ain't having any of that. And she's like... Yeah, I mean, ah, oh, man, I don't know. He did the uh, two, in my mind, the two worst things you could ever do to a human being, especially a woman. Like, he's completely defiled right. her mother, and then he's killed her, and he killed her in a horribly brutal way, you know? And in front of an audience, like we later learn, he does yeah. it from his men. So it's like, they're really building up the stakes there, and it's like, you know... Think about it. Someone who's raised you that you love as a parent, and then you find what they did to your real biological parent. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, that, so that, that brings in such a hard, I, I guess, moment, because then it's, it's, like, at that point, she was, what, two when she was adopted? Right. Ten? I thought she was ten, Or was right? she ten? ten? But she uh, has she, spent more time with this man probably, than her own mother. I, she must have been old enough to remember what happened a little right. bit. The cages. But, yeah. and, yeah. but, I mean, like, she's got to, f- oh, yeah, you're right, because she doesn't remember the cages. But, I mean, like... She's got to feel like this is her father to right. her. So I mean, it's Absolutely. just like it's that hard thing. Like he did something horrible, but at the same time, this is your father. Right. In this is a who way, he is right? now, and how he's treated her over the years. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. 
Although then again, he did raise her to be a biological terrorist. True. And he was so kind of a jerk to her last week. Plus, not exactly father of the year. Plus, I mean, yeah, he well, he did fill a father role, but he wouldn't have needed to if he Boom. didn't, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, rape and kill her mom. So. And she says that, that later on, like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, She's what a like, great moment at the bank. You know, like that. I think that was the turning point for her, where she was like, you know, like even though it's sort of. Like right. what you've given me is is a lot. Like you still cause an effect. Took so like it, you yeah. caused everything. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it exactly. Like, he took everything from her. Right. Also, like her big everything. thing is that she hates the cages. That's why she can't stand to be locked up in prison. And that also that was directly a result of him. That would not have happened if it weren't for him. The cages. Yep. So he was about to send her back to another set of cages, but yeah. This time she had a choice. So she ends up siding with the FBI in this instance, and Yuri takes. Martin into the private vault, and who he still thinks is Dante. Uh, so then they end up going to this private vault, and fortunately, he thought ahead and set up an explosive He's opening. He's so distrusting. And he also, like... The booby traps. He also knew that Dante would not trust him to open up the safe vault and open it himself. What if he well, had? Yeah, what if he'd opened up himself and Dante hadn't done that? He's just like that's what I was thinking. I mean, like yeah. I don't know how you could direct it. Like maybe like he would have like said something or I don't know. Or maybe after he put the key in and then Dante yeah. didn't say anything, he goes, like switches the. Safety well, or yeah, box. maybe like it's a way you or turn just the like, keys oh, or something. What was a different box? Maybe Again, just, like, terrorist yeah. stuff. Maybe, terrorist booby traps. Maybe he just say like perfect way of working. Oh shoot, wrong one, and then go into the one right below. Because it was the one right, right below that had the actual. Yeah. But when you need the different gun. keys, every because I I have multiple lock box. They just have like my childhood coin collection. Let's not get excited. Um, but in multiple box, I had to have a different set of keys Steal for it. each box. They're like 1982 pennies, so they're really worthless. This is actually the uh, the worst safety <laughs> facility, safety <laughs> lockbox facility. You can use the same key for all the boxes. It it's works very for convenient. Every box, it's the right? Key. Wouldn't you have to it's have separate keys? Key. They'd be different keys <laughs> we, anyway. We also so. give complimentary smoke bombs. <laughs> it's like there's a lollipop in, and donuts in the in the reception area. That's the best part of the bank. And then smoke bombs in the back for you. Best bank Bad, ever. cheap coffee. Yeah. Uh, that's, all, that's actually my memories of whenever we go to safety deposit box as a kid was that they always had donuts like for people. <laughs> nice, right? Like, yeah, that's a fancy uh, bank. I was like, I like this bank. <laughs> <laughs> I will shop here. Was your father uh, Yuri? Was he... Look, all I know cages? is that there's a couple safety deposit boxes we weren't allowed to open. Okay. Because I'll explode. Fair enough. I don't. I don't know why. We were, we didn't ask questions back in. No, in like I was a kid. I was like, "Ooh, what's in this? Oh, it's money! Wow, <laughs> donuts, coins, num, num, donuts, num 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 num. <laughs> donuts in the safety deposit box. That's actually powdered why. sugar would have exploded. <laughs> yeah, just... my dad would just put donuts in the safety deposit box and replenish them every week. <laughs> yeah, they're always fresh. Dewy. It's like, wow, these are like really just uh... custard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be a dream. Uh, uh, we're hungry. And then I went the other way with the customer. I was like, oh, maybe not a dream. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, here he goes. Uh, that's apparently where my mind's at, my mind's at tonight. So, uh, after that moment, Yuri grabs the gun from underneath, uh, grabs the real chemicals underneath. So, good thing to keep a gun that uh, has bolts in it next to chemicals. That it's Always a good idea. Always a good idea. But he takes them both and starts running out of the bank, but the FBI already have him surrounded. Dante comes to him, so he's literally surrounded uh, by Darton, Dante slash Martin. And then Anna pulls out the gun on Dante, so he has to go two-hand. Oh, it was so Bam. Dude, no problem. What no problem. Just so good. Again, squealing. It's like, I can do it. both at the same time. What What's multitask? that, that Dante. Bam. Yeah, just... What a ball! I was like, let me fit my hands in the camera because this is too far. Wait, no, he's got to keep it in frame. He held it like this. He looked really dorky when he was doing. He's like, hey, (laughs) get guns. Um, So, (laughs) for people listening on the iTunes, I'm talking about the camera. (laughs) If you watch on YouTube, but please do check us out on YouTube. It was Dave that was looking dorky, not Sean Bean, because he can pull that off. Sean Bean's a baller. What are you trying to say? And he's dead. Well, no, I, it's nothing against you. I mean, it it's, it's, it's a little bit against you, but it's also the environment. The cameras only permit so much badassness. Mm-hmm. Can't have too much <laughs> badassness. So after that, uh, Anna ends up finally turning on her father. Uh, well, not father, but Yuri. Her non-biological father, Yuri, and says the line that you had quoted. Gary, yes. Oh, God. 
what was my quote? About her saying, like, I wouldn't have had. Oh, sorry. I was like, <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> Brain She's like a goldfish. I quote so much. <laughs> You're going to have to be quote. more specific. Shut down. <laughs> it's over. Books have been huh? written. Quick, it's more like, I didn't, I didn't write down the quote, so I didn't remember the exact quote. So I'm like, let right. me pass it off to Carrie. Carrie, <laughs> yeah. the quote. Carrie take it away. <laughs> well, yeah, and she was just saying, like, you took everything from me, and I'm not. And then, you know, we, we saw where this was going. And by the way, great job, because the whole show kept being such flip-flop, like, you didn't know exactly who the initial target was. And again, here at the very end, you know, uh, the peak of the arc, again, we didn't know it was her father the target, Sean Bean. And then we realized it's the father, and she has that great little yeah. moment. She's like, you took everything from me. And it was great because she had come to terms with it. She needed to do that. She had closure, and she shoots him. She doesn't just shoot him. She shoots him right in the jugular. Yeah. Uh, right Hell in her the aim. Like, Good shot. Mm. Good shot. Well, was, I mean... Their relationship was completely destroyed. There's no oh. way that they can bounce back from nope. that and, no and therapy. continue. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think it ended the only way it could have. Um, well, I mean, I guess, like, the... Well, the, yeah, it was like, like he was basically... He was, he was gone. He was going to be done. But her ending could have gone a different route. But I, True. And Crystal's when it shoots her. So, you, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, Crystal's, like, getting the bat. But you kind of wonder if there's Get a little thing in there. Exactly. She's like, yeah, you no, were with totally. my... Yeah. She, did so over, you just, she, she did overhear that part. And you actually got a reaction of being like, hmm, when, like... You kind of wonder. When Anna said they'd slept together, you actually get that Crystal shot. Like, Anna's like, what would your wife think if she knew that we slept together? And then you say, she'll Crystal, like... Reaction shot. <laughs> He's just like, hmm. Well, even Gates calls Get her out too at... earlier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me so mad. You sleep with my man. Who's not my man? Yeah. But earlier, too, the, the boss guy, Nelson, I believe it's Nelson Gates, he was like, you know, you guys, he said without saying, are you guys, you guys okay now? So I'm assuming everyone knows they slept together. The whole they have office a history. knows the gossip. It's the Everybody water cooler knows. talk. Yeah. Don't yeah. dip your pin in the company ink. I'm just Can't help that. myself. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, hey, Dante does what he wants. He's so tan. He's How can I say that. no? There's a lot of ink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> There's five liters of ink. That was a tie back. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I like it. Okay, that was a great tie back. Thank so, you. Uh, it took me a moment to get it, but it was good. All right, so Crystal um, ends up reacting to... I mean, it's basically Anna was going to sh- like gonna shoot someone. I thought she was like, going to put it right yeah. under her throat. Yeah, and no, that's what I right. thought too. She I had yeah, to exactly. avenge her mother. Well, I thought that too. Like I thought she was going to kill herself, but she started raising up forwards. It right. Like to Do you me. think she would have killed but no, I, th- I think in a way that was her killing herself too. Because, I mean, she knew she, she was surrounded. She yeah. knows that, like, you point a gun at the FBI, like, you're going to kill them. Like, they're going to shoot you up. Yeah. So I think she I think did we... make that choice. She just didn't want to, yeah. like, Yeah, I do think it she herself. knew she was going to die, but I think she, she decided to right. be like, I'm going to go out with a bang as opposed to, like, kill myself. Yeah. Right. Because you can't go to heaven if you kill yourself. That's why. She's very Christian. Mm, yes. Clearly. Clearly by her terroristic yes, the, ways. Uh, that's the, <laughs> obviously she's what very, she was going very for. religious. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I think, though, it was a... She, she knew she was going to die, but as opposed to killing herself, it was... Yeah, and Crystal shot it. It was just a great job. This whole episode was just like... Uh, just it, like, whoa, you couldn't Crystal necessarily predict it. Yeah, trigger Crystal. happy. But it I, makes you wonder. But then, to me, I think this, this is why they set up that whole situation with the writers, with Dante doing everything or Martin and Sean Bean's character, mm-hmm. was so they could have this moment where he gives Crystal this look like. It was like, it was almost yeah. like he was like, you didn't have to do that type of look. Like, blow. you kicked my puppy kind right. of a face. Like, he looks so like, sad. Yeah, he was like, 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 whoa, I mean, in the leg or shoulder. Right. Exactly. Like, you know, that's she what didn't I was have thinking. to. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Why did she shoot him? Or why did she, she shoot him? Uh, it was why like a she direct like, heart Yeah, shot. why did she shoot her in the heart? Like, why not the shoulder? Why not? Yeah. I mean, why not the hand with the gun or something Excellent like that? Excellent point. I mean, even though the chest is a bigger target and it's probably easier to hit. Right. Other than that, limbs are harder to hit. Why not like go for her arm or something like that? So she that, took that girl out. Yeah. So vindictive. Uh, Martin not happy about it at all. It was yeah. He <laughs> and then that's when he upset. walks out with the like music starting. So that kind of wraps up this <laughs> that storyline. So let's rewind and go back to the beginning of the episode as we will talk about the other storyline, which would be our favorite detective, a certain Carrie's favorite detective. Bow, chick, chick, bow. I think his character should have some type of thyroid issue that causes him to be hot, and his shirt should be off more often. <laughs> but Consider he, it, writers. But if he had a thyroid issue, wouldn't he also be a little more overweight, you know, not so in shape? No, or? no, he's the exception. Okay. okay, would you choose Rice or... Mm-hmm. 
over Martin Odom? Ooh, I kind of, ooh, I don't know. Depends which legend Martin is being. Well, okay, I was going to say, though, my Martin Odom is kind of actually crazy, it would seem like, crazy. whereas... True. Agent yeah. Rice is a, he's Dante. Kind of a meddler, he's Dante, though. Dante is the most badass yeah. one we've yes. seen. Detective no. Rice is over zealous, but he's he hasn't shown himself he's to be meddler. crazy. True. He's just yeah. a little True. And it might seem it kind of seems like he's on a good track. Like, should we start rooting for him? Well, I don't know. Here's the thing. So like, Nelson Gates comes and threatens Detective Rice, right? Yeah. Right, and week, then he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm gonna still do it anyways, even though the boss of the FBI told him to back down." True. Yeah, and that's why? stupid. Very, very true. Why? Plus, what is? What is? He has to have some ultimate reason. Like he's trying to compensate or something. Like he can't just want to claim the ranks like a good guy. No, like. Right. Well, but I mean, the thing is, like, right. why? Like, if the the head of the FBI says, "This is my guy under me." Back off. Do not look into this. You as a detective say, oh, maybe I shouldn't be looking into it. True, and I work the head of the FBI. No, I, the, the head of the FBI trusts him, so there's a reason. It's not like, because at first he was trying to dig up uh, dirt on Martin, like, oh, I can get this this guy, maybe he's an FBI agent who went did the wrong thing. Right. And if his boss says, I know what you're doing and you're wrong, then you say, oh, Okay, then. My bad. Right, no, de- I mean, it de- he's completely out of bounds and definitely should be fired for this. But at he- the same time, the one thing that sort of brought it back for me was that he said, you know, like, he went to crazy lengths to do it. Like, he was like, yeah, the head of the DOC came to my house and, like, threatened his family. So, like, at that point, yeah. it was, like, more like they are sort of hiding something that's, like, off the books. That's true. And it was, like... You know, maybe, like, if it was just, like, undercover op, like, you're screwing it up, this, like, national security, like, send an email or something. Because those always get read. You know, like, he he has (laughs) the power to sort of do, or, like, send someone else. Like, send a couple agents and be like, dude, like, we're watching you. Don't screw this investigation up. Like, we're, like, terrorists are at large. Like, there's VX gas. Like, cut it out. You're going to screw well, maybe everything he up. thought the threatening but would like, go better. He's like, this is the way you intimidate this guy. Right, exactly. I mean, that's why I think the only merit he, he does have is, like, you know, like, why would this guy come, like, by, like yeah. on his own, like, at night and, like, pull. Yeah. It's, like, really shady, like, when he said yeah. it that way. Mm-hmm. Well, he does end up going to his boss, telling his boss about it. True. And she's, she and see, never she, gets like, mad. Yeah. We, because, I, was, I mean, that conversation, I think she was like, wow, you know, that is a little weird. Like, why would someone that big come at you yeah. for like you know i mean yeah it's stupid you shouldn't be doing this but they told us not to but like that's a yeah. lit it's like zero to 60 you know like yeah but i like that but, yeah, at the same time like yeah, it. It, it is a little extreme there i mean i am trying to legitimize it but well, th- i mean that was one moment where i was like oh you know what that actually like does make more sense that he is feeling unsure about it because it, it is weird it's like Killing a mosquito with a bazooka. Yeah. Well, is that overkill? Um, some mosquitoes I, are really annoying. I mean, annoying. some would say. This you're, is like, school it's thought. My, you're like, it's on my arm. <laughs> but, dude, there are some mosquitoes that, I tell you, I right. would, I would take out part of the house. You're just not. <laughs> it can happen. I think it's not only one. They're pesky. I think it's not only, like, female mosquitoes that actually suck blood or, like, one gender. I don't know. I you, hate them all, though. <sighs> Even if it's not, the males the help female make more skin. Uh, if, if you guys know, it is all right. If, if you guys listening or watching know, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah, just <laughs> which don't just skeeter. don't just like comment. Let us know. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Are the mo- the pests? And let us know which skeeters the worst. Yeah, um, the woman. So, well, oh. they're the ones who suck blood because that's that's absolutely true to women. Right. That is but true. No, I mean, see, it's true. after woman, man. Woman. Ba- back to rice for a second, I think you know when he did that reconnaissance on on the homeless guys and sort of found out that like he like martin didn't kill him that there's like another guy i think now they're sh- showing like hey you need to be on rice's team as well like, yeah he's- well that's definitely like the the thing here is like he finds that out and that's the question of, like well then he finds out that the whole time a he was wrong because he thought that right yeah because the whole time he's trying to chase after um martin and, and in that moment he finds out like Oh, Martin is innocent, like he said. So he's like, yeah, ooh, gosh, kind of feel like a dick now. So yeah, I mean, he, he <laughs> should get that. But I mean, I guess he could Whoops. either feel like there's two ways to go here, and I mean, I'm obviously he's gonna go the way of like, because it's a show. He's gonna go the way of being like, well, now I have to dig deeper because what's this big conspiracy that why why doesn't why is uh, he trying to hide it? Why know, yeah, yeah, why is Nelson trying to hide it if he knows they're safe? When there could be the other, usually more logic reason than being like, we don't want you to dig into our agent. 
because he's doing work stopping terrorists. And if you yeah. do that, it could fuck up the mission. Yeah. I just dropped the F-bomb because I was so angry. <laughs> On an After Buzz PG-13 <laughs> show. I just heard this R. Wow. Um, but he did bring up a good point. There's a woman killer. Oh my god. There is. There is. Right? Because they have a banner. It's like, eh, eh, shiv, shiv, like your pen that you might stab us with after this uh, podcast. Also, but are you telling me women can also, do that? Home women with, are capable. Home was Kenny, I believe his name Kenny, is. Yeah, yes. Kenny, it was Kenny. Worst lookout ever. Yeah. yeah he, can we talk about that for a second? Yeah. Like, dude, well, really he's sleeping on well, the Well, he's obviously a sexist. He's like, I didn't see a woman coming. A woman can't kill what? anybody. That's that's the explanation right there. He's a sexist. Yeah, yeah exactly. I thought she Plus, he was you. probably higher drunk. Yeah, yeah, probably that too. So. Yeah, it's funny too. Like he sees the, like guys like, "Are you Kenny?" He's like, "Oh crap!" Yeah, just <laughs> just bolts, start running like, away, okay, Never buddy. Because that doesn't make you look yeah. suspicious at all. Is that just a rule? Are you like someone just ask you your name? Run! I mean, just I do be that. like, that's why not say no? That's why I hope no one asks my name. So. Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> he left. <laughs> Freeze. What just happened? So thank you for confirming and proving my point. Ship, I, I would have. Yeah, uh, exactly. He's that's not why. going back. He's I'm not going not back to going prison. Back. I'm not going back. Ever. No more cages. No, no more, more cages. cages. So that kind of wraps up the episode, though, with that. Um, with the, oh, well, I guess that was earlier in the episode, but that is the other, the overarching storyline, which right. I find to be. Uh, personally, I find that to be the most interesting thing. I keep on waiting to find out more about that. And that's right. definitely what the show is good in itself, but that's definitely what's really keeping me coming back is to find out more about that. So, we've actually got some news and gossip. Yeah, we do. We news. This is intense stuff. Like, <laughs> outside the bounds of the show. Yeah, when we found out, I, was, um, I, I thought it wasn't real. This is real. But stuff. Was, are you sure this isn't the satire website? I. found this on. No, look who it is. Hey, I mean, with Tino Fox News. It's so it is Fox satire. News. Fox so, News well, does not tell lies. <laughs> How you take that? I mean, it is Fox, so <laughs> It's the we'll news. See. It's unbiased. Yeah. Um, but they, they are saying that um, there's been a bit of intensity of, of how the Venezuelans are taken, how they're being portrayed. Um, they're, In the episode? In the episode. Okay. Specifically last episode with the VX gas the torture thing. Um, it's, one it's of the VX guys. Because actually stands for Venezuelan gas. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's, gas. That's the V right there. Boom. Yeah, no. Um, actually, w the guy I believe that's being tortured um, says something and mentions PSUV, which is an organization in, in Venezuela, and there's a lot of civil uh. unrest because of how they're being portrayed as just, you know, that they're all horrible people terrorists that like make vx gas and kill people and torture hollywood and yeah it's just interesting to see like how global that i mean this is a very like hollywood yeah. show on tnt like how crazy it is it's you know it's it's fiction it's just like a, a story but at the same time i think it's easy for us to to think of venezuela as like oh yeah i buy that they probably have got some vx gas over there <laughs> but, you know, that that's... You're part of the problem. Right, exactly. I am part of the problem. <laughs> I think that, you know, they portray... Like, they, there is some... Not that they should be rioting, but there is something that, you know, we do stereotype that region, like Venezuela, Colombia, a lot with, like, drugs and, and like, cocaine mm -hmm. distribution, mm -hmm. you know, that we associate them with criminals. And, you know, I've never been there, so I can't say firsthand like if if that's what it's really like i, mean, I, I it, don't think it, it and is it was a throwaway line too and it right. caused right. this absolute uproar this writing so it's very um I, I it's very think, crazy i, I mean it escalated fast yeah for sure well, that Such an impact. Quickly. <laughs> yeah uh I, i'm i guess i'm just i, I don't know i'm kind of come on it's what the hell yeah like, it's, just, it's seriously, a show guys it's, it's a, a show. show it's a show b it was a sp they weren't like the Venezuelans. Are, yeah, exactly. It was like a specific Every organization that they're is a terrorist. It's harsh. like one like throwaway line about some like organization. It's like if they like is. I've seen tons of shows where it's like there were actually FBI people who were bad. American FBI people were bad. I'm like, riot in the streets! <laughs> riot in the streets! There's FBI who are in America are bad. I like how I had to have my mic turned down for doing that. Uh, but no, no. So, I mean, yeah, like we have every. Like James Bond movie is about like Russian terrorists, like right. you know, and in not... this episode even the Chechen exactly. shouldn't they yeah. all be rioting? Come you know, on, I, they're 
I think they are taking a little seriously, guys. Like, you it's know, hot down there. Maybe they're just irritated. They're on edge anyway. We should be in a place where, you know, yes, there are stereotypes, but at the same time, like, we get them all. We, I feel like we should be at a place where we can start joking about it again. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just think rioting is extreme. You could be displeased and be like, oh, come I'm on. not gonna yeah. watch this show. Write like, a complaint. I, I do, right. I do wonder though, like how much when they say rioting, like how much was it really? If it was just some people like true, writing true. angry letters and like they were rioting, when yeah. it's just like a couple of people like, come on guys, come on TNT. Yeah, we don't know the extent of it, but uh, you know, if it was sort of a violent act, if it did get that aggressive, I think they are. Fueling that stereotype, like Someone if they do, was in like a China right. shop, they're taking and just it that like way and do over like one dish. And if it, like riots, if it does make them like break out into more right. criminal activity, that's You're sort of like the point. The fire. That's like why yep. we th would think that and associate like that stereotype is because you you do that. Yeah. So. But I mean, Hollywood's notorious for doing that. True. Thank yeah. God Hollywood's not part of the UN. Uh, well, I'd say just uh, lazy writing, but. The thing is, like, I don't know much about that group that the specifically what was that they were angry about. So, I mean, maybe, like, it's really just, like, their normal political group that would never do anything like that. But maybe it's, like, an extremist group. I mean, I, and maybe that would then make sense because, hey, the first episode had an extremist American group. Let's start riots because of the extremist American yeah, group that Martin had to stop. Yeah, all Tea Party people should be pretty The Tea Partiers. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, like, I don't know. I, I, I think that's kind of extreme. But... We, I, if, if anybody knows more about like uh, yeah. you know, we just we basically just saw this uh, news story, so we don't we're not experts in the field. But if you guys know anything about uh, the actual situation or you know the the groups involved even in the show, you know definitely write in and comment. Would love to know more. Yeah. So let's go ahead and go over to predictions. Dun, dun, dun. And now you're after Buzz TV. Yeah. Predictions. It seems like they're going to be tailoring it back, at least based on the storyline or what we saw to that overarching plot. It seemed like that was going to come into play finally. I hope and they're so. They're actually going I to start so. addressing that. Well, yeah, I mean, we got some very action fueled episodes, which was was cool to see. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there were some twists and stuff. Um, I think the last, what it was, the last two or three episodes sort of focused on the Dante storyline mm -hmm. um, and that, like the VX gas thing. And so now that that seems to be solved. I'm interested to see what they're, how they're gonna play. Like, I hope we get a lot more backstory and maybe a new terrorist threat to. Yeah. Yeah. Find out more about McCombs, which was the the legend slash homeless guy that yes, was murdered in the first McCombs. episode. I also think Dante might be stuck inside of Martin. I think that he could, it could be fragmented. I think we're starting to see the real breakdown. Like maybe like Dante, like he starts getting maybe a new legend next week, and Dante keeps popping out. I'd love to see a new legend. Uh, I, I, I'd I like to see him just get just clustered in his head of who he is. No, I completely agree. I think that in next episode is mission, where we're going to yeah. start seeing him having trouble getting rid of the legends. Uh, I mean, not that he right. didn't yeah. already, but it's going to really start playing next and week. And see I more think. of Martin. Like, I want to see more of Martin in his life and see how this job has truly affected him other than just his marriage, which we see. Well, what else is his life? His life's his job. That's true. <laughs> Wait, question for you guys. To make, is his make a prediction on <laughs> another legend that you expect to see. It doesn't have to be next episode, <laughs> but... Because we we saw with um, I forgot what the first um, Lincoln Lincoln, Lincoln Dit yeah. Dittmeyer Dittman 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 he was a very like bumbling type of guy that was like wouldn't Stutter, yeah, wouldn't really yeah. hurt a fly other than like wanting to be cool yeah um, you know like sort of pretending to be a tough guy yeah. and you have the opposite Dante who's like yeah. such an aggressive like Lord of War like baller yeah um, you know I, I'm curious to see like what other direction they're gonna show besides Martin, who's kind of, I guess, a hodgepodge of, of everything. I think. What about like something medical? Like he plays a surgeon or something, but he's not like he's in a hospital or whatever. But it's like he's but out he's in, in a field. general hospital. He's in a general hospital. And there's a lot of really good-looking people. And lots of soliloquies. <laughs> uh, and then he has this moment where like uh, they're like, "Well, you're a doctor. You have to, you know, do something." Like he's forced. Like we see how far his skill set really goes. Yeah. Like right. how much training. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe that's where you have to like he's choose. He's murdered. He slept with. But now let's see an intellectual. Maybe, uh, maybe that's where you have to pick and choose what your uh, occupations right. are. I don't really feel like being a proctologist, guy. It's just like, so. I don't think I can actually have the skills. But all of a sudden, he's like, I am a bio, uh, neuro or I'm a chemist. I, I, he's like a neurologist, and he just all of a sudden knows all the science behind everything. It's like, yeah. he right. went to like four years of college, and then med school, and everything, pre-med, med. med. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Um, like, we probably, just use that intellectual, Maybe Maybe yeah. he'll be like a Venezuelan terrorist or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, they've done the sleek I'm thing. Kidding. With, I'm uh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
with Dante, so they kind of like checked off like the suave guy card. Right. Um, he slept the, with the, these murdered Lincoln very manly. Was, like very awkward. Yeah. I think maybe we'll get like more of like a technical. Yeah, I was role. actually thinking the same technical, thing. I was just thinking okay, nerdy. So, technical. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Um. Yeah. So like that. His friend who got killed off in the first episode. Right, yeah, exactly. Ones, yeah. I mean, they got to replace that. Yeah, so I, he's like, maybe yeah. that's who he uses. Like, I got to start playing Deep Connect games with the DDR pad. <laughs> right, but yeah, I do I do want to find out some answers, like who killed him. And that woman, like how she predicting she will definitely be People are week. watching. Yes. Yeah. People are watching yes. the team. All right, well. Uh, who that... watches the watchers? Who, watch, <gasps> who watches the watchers? Who, well, don't know. who watches the watchers? Who watches the watchers? Who's watching, who's watching the watchers? watchers? The deep. watcher watchers? Very deep. Who, who watches, watches the watcher, watcher, watchers? Watchers. Totally. Who watches us? All right, guys. Yeah, thank you <laughs> so much for joining guys. us. Uh, once again, guys, I'm Dave Klein. You can nice. find me on Twitter at the like, Dave Klein. That's K L E I N. I hope I was looking into the right camera. I was not. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You need more yeah, Red Carrie, Bull. Who are you, you need more Red Bull. Hi, guys. I'm Carrie. Please hit me up on Twitter. I love you guys. You can find me on Twitter at Comedia Carrie. That's C O M E D I A C A R R I E. You can also check me out hosting the after show for Under the Dome here at AfterBuzz TV. Nice. Yeah, you can. Um, you guys can find me at <laughs> JB underscore Zimmerman. That's Z I M M E R M A N on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I follow you. <laughs> I follow, him. I follow both you guys. I, we all follow each other, so find one of us. I'll, find I'll all tweet of us. at you guys too. Oh my god! I tag you. I tweet at myself. I tag <laughs> at what? I'm like, hey me, what's up, <laughs> man? Dave, Good what's up, me. Dave? Yeah, right, Dave, this is Dave. <laughs> Dave, this is uh... this is Sean. Dave. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 